Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are dealing with a new series by a new creator that we haven't reacted to before on the channel. They are called Al30K72, and they're doing a series on Inside Out. Yes, that Inside Out, the one with the emotions in the brain. I haven't actually seen the second one, but I'm doing a little bit of research into the second one. The film was budgeted at 200 million. It released in June of 2024, and it has grossed over $1.6 billion in the box office. That is insane. That is absolutely, I need to watch this second film. I haven't watched the second one. I watched the first one. I remember the first one was really interesting with the way it kind of played with how, you know, our experiences, our memories, uh, what's potentially going on in their head and why we act the way we do because we've got these little minions inside our heads that are controlling us. I thought it was really interesting. But this looks into something where let's say something traumatic happens and it's told in such a unique way where it can twist that kind of kid friendly thing and turn it into this abysmal horror. It, it manifests that darkness of emotions and you'll see what happens obviously for this to happen but i think it's really well done i think you guys should go definitely subscribe support al 30 k 72 this was actually recommended to me on my discord by two people the first video was recommended to me by a user called chaos so thank you chaos the second was by a user called blue kirby so thank you for the submissions guys if you're not a member of my discord already consider joining it down below if you submit me something scary in the scare bass submission channel and i react to it i will give you a shout out Without further ado, let's jump into this. Okay, so this is the first video called Traumatized Inside Out Tapes Volume 1. Let's jump straight into this by Al30K72. Here we go. The Mind of Riley Corporation. Okay, so this is Spanish and English. Here we go. Riley has kept repeating the same memory over and over again. Riley's condition uncontrolled. Joy has tried to remove that memory. What memory? What happened? One second, guys. This The freaking bar at the bottom there is so annoying. Without success. Image of the corrupt memory. Oh, okay. Interesting. What is that? Is it a car crash? Have you ever wondered why you feel the way you feel? Sometimes. When everything in your life makes no sense. Well, yeah. Is when? Is in charge? What, who's in charge? Who? Who's doing that to me? I need to know names. Was this freaking Sting from WWF? Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Oh, okay, so this is like a new emotion. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna go back. Is there something here? No, there's nothing here, okay. Mind of Riley Corporation, 2015. Joy has been presenting changes these last few days. Day zero. Day two. Day five. Ooh, hello, what's that? Anxiety had the idea of enclosing her in the jar for safety. Image of Joy. In addition, the headquarters has released a strange putrid smell. The headquarters? Oh my goodness, what is that thing? So whatever this thing is, is corrupting... What, is it inside the mind? Oh wow. Whoever is listening, please help. Envy lengthened its limbs. 
after this, Envy managed to take the joy out of the jar. Unfortunately, some emotions did not manage to survive. Okay, that's... that's... sadness. That's anger. As for disgust, she was infected, but the symptoms were different. Embarrass embarrassment is one of them, although less aggressive. Fortunately, me and anxiety managed to escape. Somewhat badly wounded. From who? So now, whatever's in charge of Riley is no longer these emotions. There's not anxiety, joy, sadness. Um, I'm guessing, what is it? Fear is anxiety as well. Rage. Oh, my dear Riley. You know very well that without them, you are nothing. Well, without your emotions, you're nothing. Well, I mean... It's time to make some changes. It's uh -oh. time to drop everything. Drop it's everything. Time to... It's time for a new idea. A new idea? Okay, so what what is this? What are they what is he proposing? Or what is it proposing? What I'm I'm confused hang on a second, no no no, whoa. Are you gonna hang themselves? The mind of Riley Corporation. Okay, hang on, there's something at the end there. The accident left them like this. Okay, so here's here's my here's what I think has happened here. Because obviously, Inside Out is about emotions, and these emotions control the headquarters or whatever, like a core memories and stuff like that. So obviously, what's happened here is a traumatic event to Riley, where it's kind of got rid of, it's like completely beat up most of the emotions and whatever it is. I'm guessing it's some kind of trauma physical and mental trauma that has maybe shifted her brain in a certain way. Let's move on to the next video. This next video is called QTJDPTJT. I don't know, is this like um, like code for something? Inside Out Tapes Volume 2. Sorry for the delay, haha, but I hope you like it. Can I just say as well, this one, it was released yesterday. They have 31,600 subscribers, but they've got 350k views, which is insane for like a day turnaround. The algorithm really favored this video, so let's jump into it. Here we go. Okay, so that's Riley there. What's this here? Are these pills? So she wanted to unalive herself. I'm guessing it's trauma. I'm guessing this whole thing is a representation of trauma. Like, you know, something happened in your life which completely corrupted or just got rid of some of these core emotions that you feel, leaving you feel, leaving you feeling blank almost. I don't want to yap, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll leave my thoughts until the end. Something doesn't make sense. What is this thing? <laughs> Luckily, we managed to escape. I haven't watched the second film, by the way. What is the plan? Who's this? Oh my goodness. What is this thing, man? Freaking... I'm still wondering where I got the shotgun. Anui, that has nothing to do with my question. Is that how you say that name? You know, Fear, it's not easy to shoot someone. Wait, so... This thing, Inui, I don't know who this is, what emotion that's meant to be, if that's a translation or if that's an actual name. Once again, unfamiliar with the second film. I watched the first film, can't really remember it that well. So th this dude shot whatever the hell that thing was. Anyway, we have to find a place away from them. I have an idea. We will have to reach to the end of the mind. I know the way. End of the mind, huh? Man, what a dangerous place to be exploring someone's mind. 
Was that a little hang on? No, okay. Thought there was like a little thing there. What is that then? Who is that? It's like an egg. Oh my goodness. What is this, like little nightmares? <laughs> Just stay away. <laughs> Let's take another shortcut. <laughs> Why didn't he attack us? Who's this Gojo? Why are they blindfolded? Remember what happened to sadness. It really hurts. What the? What did this thing do to these guys? Something is wrong. Will be it. An eye. I, I don't know how to say that. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know how to say that name. I'm going to kick myself because I'll probably watch this film maybe later now just because I, I yeah, I, I'm a, I love the first one. I'm not going to lie. I genuinely enjoyed the first one. So it'll be inter interesting to see the second one. Take out your phone. They've got phones? Oh, God. Got no bars, though. Got no bars. No signal. Oh god. Oh my god. What is that thing? Oh, it's Joy. But Joy was infected by something else. Maybe if you think about it, Joy, of course, if there's a car crash or, you know what, I'll, I'll save it till afterwards. I'll save it till afterwards. I'm trying not to yap so much. Okay. So Anui just shot. Did it? Sh did they shoot the right person though? Just shot a hole straight through their freaking head, man. Okay, one less. Let's continue on this path. So does that mean they just completely killed him, Joy off? We should hurry. Demos darnos prisa. God, they, 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 they looked, they've looked a lot better. The following video will show the last seconds before Joy was infected. Okay. Now it's only Joy that has been this, like this, permanently this, this, like killed off. That's not an emotion. This, 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 this. Whatever it is. This, 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 this. That thing has been here before the accident. Oh, it's dwelling, this, this, is this, it? This, this. I have felt his presence for months now. This, 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 this. He is always trying to deceive Riley with false thoughts. Hang on. This, 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 this. After this, 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 a thought occurred to me. This, 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 this. The accident is real. So what if it's been there before the accident? That means it was always dwelling. What is this? Those are false thoughts. How did you get here? Probably joy. Is it like that alarm? I've heard it before. Only a miracle can save Riley. Oh, well, shit. I think a miracle just happened. I'm I'm going to take a... Actually, no. Stop it, Ryan. I, I always try and say my <laughs> thoughts as they come to me. Riley, don't worry. I'm already here. Mum. But you were... What happened to the accident? You haven't taken your medications, have you? What about Dad? Is he okay? I already called him. He's coming right away. In the meantime, we are going to prepare a bath, okay? 
Okay, interesting. So the mu there was there a crash? There wasn't a crash. Oh, what was that? Let's have a look. Let's scan that QR code. Okay, so this QR code leads you to a page, a Spanish page, which is basically telling you the diagnosis of psychosis or the symptoms of psychosis. It occurs when a person loses touch with reality, the person may have false beliefs about what's happening or who one is, seeing or hearing things that are not there. So whatever this... Oh, look, you can see like the eyes behind. Ooh, creepy. Okay, let me just see if there's anything else. Okay, well, there definitely was something else. What was that? Got blood on their hands. Okay, so I'm not going to look in the comments just yet. I'm going to go try and say what I think this is. So the, this emotion or whatever inside of Riley was like a shadow almost. You know, Carl Jung talks about the shadow self and how, you know, we've all got a shadow self. It's similar to that maybe, but this is actually a diagnosis that is wrong with Riley right now. And it's uh, physically altering her emotions and her memories. So these false thoughts that we're seeing uh, due to this thing inside of her, the shadow, I will call her, giving her false realities. So the accident didn't actually happen. So she was always kind of psychotic. And I don't want mean to use that term. That's the genuine term though. She's psychotic. This thing inside her, I like how it's like this thing is inside her. Like she's not in control of it, obviously, because it's, you know, something that's happening to her. She can't help it the way she feels She's just being fed reality by this thing and it's corrupted all her other emotions or most of her emotions. Joy, especially the bad one, meaning that she feels no joy anymore. It's literally corrupted joy. She's now misremembering things. Here we go. Sora the Blind One Chaos Born 9626. That's one hell of a username. Okay, so it seems Riley's parents didn't die in the accident, but it happened. They were probably hurt real bad. Okay, so the accident did happen. And Riley had a breakdown, but everyone got better. However, Riley didn't. She's a kid. Her mind hadn't recovered fully from the thought. She was probably taking medication, but she forgot to take it. Or it slipped her mind, allowing trauma to manifest. So it was trauma. That's what the, that's what it is. The trauma manifested. Uh, and judging by the end of the video, trauma got nostalgia first. Okay, not joy, because looking back on the past and being un unable to move on, that would be caused by a corruption of nostalgia. Still, my theory of emotions can't die, only suppressed. So that thing that flashed at the end was called nostalgia, and they were corrupted too. So obviously, nostalgia being looking back in your mind at a certain event and, you know, getting that fuzzy, happy feeling, basically. Okay, so why, what I like about this particular horror, like it's, it's a, a horror that is done very well because it plays with the idea of emotions and actual mental illnesses and things that happen to the human mind, but twisting it in a horror aspect. So obviously the trauma that Riley's experiencing is this monster inside of her that is corrupting. And like, that's the thing you can get away with, like doing like, not necessarily loads of gore or stuff, but like twisting something and making it look horrible and monstrous. And like, then, you know, seeing how they're killing these other emotions because the trauma is taken over the brain basically, which is turning, I don't know if she had psychosis before the accident or after the accident, if it just was uh, accelerated by the accident, but it'll be interesting to see where this series goes. Inside Out is a fantastic story to corrupt into a horror. And I know it's like turning something that's like meant for kids and then like completely turn on its head. But like I said, it deals with real life human things. And you can get away with telling a story like this because it's technically twisting the human brain into a dark. And obviously when you're going through something like this, it isn't all sunshine and rainbows. It's dark, you know, you have horrible thoughts. And I feel like these horrible thoughts that Riley's feeling is manifesting itself into th this horrible person that's killing all the emotions, this like killer basically of emotions. It'll be interesting to see where the series goes 
But this has been really, really interesting. I've really enjoyed this. Guys, go subscribe to Al30K72. As you can see, the, you know, 350K views in just under a day is absolutely ridiculous. It's really good, but I really enjoyed that. So go like the videos, go subscribe, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed my reaction video, guys, why not leave a like rating down below? Subscribe. This is the majority of my content. Analog horror, spooky games every now and then. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.